Okay, so the the um the circumcenter, that's the perpendicular one, isn't it? Um where you, you get the midpoint and you draw a perpendicular line, so you can use your compass for that, making the you know the arcs of the top and the bottom. So you draw the, the perpendicular. Oh, I just kind of screwed that up, but you get the I can't really do it on the computer screen. But it's it's where the perpendiculars intersect, isn't it? That's the that's the circumcenter, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um maybe I'll have a quick Google just to be a hundred Yeah, that's it. The that's a better picture of it, the perpendicular bisectors. So you have to bisect the line and draw perpendicular. So using the compass arcs. Okay, I, I can't do it on the screen, it's too messy. Um so here we're looking for the angle ADC. Just as a point, these angles are the same here. That's a, a junior sort of theorem. Um, I can, and we also know, we're told that the triangle is isosceles, meaning that this angle here, I think they're trying to say, is the same as this angle that's what they're saying here so anyways let me just let me just figure out some angles here so I'll just call this angle here X and X and I'll call that Y and Y and the one at the top here Z and this one here has to be Z as well so you know that x plus y plus z has to be 180. Um, this angle here that has to be 90 because that's the diameter. Um, oh, actually, I don't have to do too much algebra because if that's 90 and that's 40, that has to be 50. And if that's 50, that angle there has to be 130. Um, So let me just clean this up a little bit. So I've, I've worked out a few angles. Okay. Now the isosceles part. So this angle here, ADC, AD, oh, ADC is isosceles. A D C A D C. So there's another angle here that's forty. That's forty. Is that what they're trying to say? So if that's forty, that means this last angle here has to be ten. So is it? that the angle ADC is 100. Let's double check. Uh, by the way, that would have to be 40 as well. And that would have to be 10. I think this is it. Let me know if I make a mistake. And um, this one here is a proof. I'm going to have to put the video up separately for this, or at least post a video of someone else doing this proof, because I don't have it off the top of my head right now. Um, I just can't bring it to memory right this second. So it's a proof that says that if the angle here is acute, the uh, circumcenter is inside it. If it's a right angle, the circumcenter is on PQ. And if it's obtuse, which is what we have here, then the circumcenter is outside it. So I, I don't have that proof off the top of my head. Um, I would need to think about it. I'd scratch it out on a piece of paper before I want to just do it off the, off the cuff. 
because I don't want to tell you something that's wrong here. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm not confident on this one to be honest. Let me know if you, if you spot any mistake. I think, I think ADC is a hundred. 